Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, boys and girls, uh, Laura Styles has something big in the congratulations you played yourself. Mm. I do? Oh, damn. Hit, hit me with the button. <laughs> congratulations. You played yourself. Because I didn't have anything, so I was hoping you was uh, delivering no, something no, no. major. Okay. No, I have, no, it's not major. It's just ridiculous. I don't know if you guys saw the video that was moving around social media yesterday about this Brazilian woman who thought it was a, a good idea to pull a weekend at Bernie's. Mm. She uh, she wheels in in a wheelchair her dead uncle mm. wheeling his body into a local bank trying to get a loan under his name. What? Everybody everybody's looking at her like bro the way she's trying to hold his head up and it just 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 falls. Nah, nah it's upset. It's actually upsetting. She's like whispering in his ear, trying to be like, "Yeah, sign, sign," like as if he's gonna say anything back, bro. They call the cops and be like, "This man has been dead for hours," and oh, she definitely crazy. got arrested. But it's all on video, Shawnee. That's like crazy. it's so wild. Her, well, the uncle how did is dead. Die? How, like no, no, he's old. I, he's old and sick. He looks like he was sick, yeah, and, and now it, he looks it dead. It also looks like he was at a point in his life where he probably, even though he wasn't dead he was breathing and his heart was beating he probably was moving very very slow and and his and his body just wasn't together for a long time okay um so was but, he dead no he was definitely yes. dead at this oh. point in the in the bank <laughs> yeah. in the bank in the wheelchair dead shawnee dead, dead dead oh no he's definitely there's no question well and they and and so the question uh -huh. she's definitely arrested in their check last yes. i read the uh the, the the article, they said that they were seeing who she drove up to the bank with, see if there was any accomplices here. Mm. Bro, the assumption is she was definitely fun. taking advantage of the guy, right? Like we're just taking advantage I mean, of this guy. Yeah. Wow. Yes, she's trying to get a big loan from the bank and having <laughs> holding his hand trying to get him to sign. The craziest well, part is how she kept whispering at him as if he's gonna <laughs> answer. Well, and then people are like, ma'am, I think he, I don't think he, and she's like, no, he's just like this sometimes. There was a piece of me, honestly. Oh, my God. While she's absolutely taking advantage of him. Mm -hmm. And she's absolutely, like, why would you take someone to the bank to try to sign something where they're in, in this state, period, end of discussion, even if he wasn't dead, even if he was just, like, almost a vegetable, in a sense, but he wasn't dead. Right. Why would you be taking them to a bank and trying to put a pen in their hand to sign a document? Pure greed, bro. Congratulations. You played yourself. And, and, and the biggest congrats Awful. is if you were desperate to get this person's money, they're your uncle, whatever, you need the money. Mm -hmm. You get the congrats for not having handled it while they were at least still physically alive. He would have never signed it. But that's the thing. So so they he she knew you weren't gonna give me the money. So I'm gonna wait till you die and hope I can get you in there late. But what kind of nastiness is this that you're the person taking care of the person and you still would want to do this and they still would want to give you the money? There's so much nastiness going on. Wow. No, it's crazy. Wow. Speaking of old people, I got an update. Remember the guy we talked about yesterday that killed the Uber the Uber pickup driver oh, yes. delivery person? Of course, yeah. Yes, 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 um, yes, yes, yes. He, I don't know if we, if we confirmed yesterday that he had been charged mm -hmm. uh, with no, a murder. Go ahead, Laura. We talked about that. No, we didn't I don't talk think we about that about part, that right? That he no, had been no, charged no. with murder two or, and murder three. So he had definitely been charged because you know, and now, and obviously hit the, the major news places uh, yesterday morning too. And um, yeah, I, you know, lawyers are saying he, the woman is clearly in retreat. She's clearly not a threat anymore. Why did you continue to follow her out to her car and shoot her? Right. He's eighty one year old man. It's an eighty one year old man, by the way. Congratulations, you played. And so yourself. yes, I was gonna hit that button. Now you, congratulations, you played yourself. Congratulations, <sighs> you played yourself. So Sorry. heartbreaking. <laughs> Rosemar, what you got today, fam? And the and the person who sat there being like, you know, it'd be a good prank is if I just oh, hit, this would be great. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> um. Well, listen, guys. The Laura, I don't want to get into the specifics of the story because I'm not giving the congrats to that because I was presuming it's true. Then you know if if Bian if Bianca Sensory Kanye West's wife was was grabbed and assaulted by a strange man, then I'm not going to give Kanye the button if he if he defended his his wife as he sees it. Right, right, right. right. I mean, I'm not going to get into the way that their whole relationship looks from the outside. It's not for me to judge. But I will say one thing. <laughs> but <laughs> no, no. But I will say one thing. When Laura reads a statement, and it's from a guy, the statement representing Kanye West. Is from a guy who we know 
Guys, we're not even saying the guy's name. The word white supremacist gets thrown around a lot these days, especially on this show where we call it out all the time. There are levels to this white supremacy, right? I know. Like, we throw it, like, this guy isn't even Donald Trump. The way we throw it at Donald Trump, like, the way Donald Trump propagates, like, white supremacy, like, it's kind of built into what he does. But, like, there's still some sort of, like, we are inferring what he does as white supremacy. No, this is a person who, like, that's his brand, what he studied, what he promotes. Mm Mm-hmm. Do you see what I'm saying? The difference. We're I not do. just. Correct me. We're correct not just saying he's a racist. Rosenberg. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't he fired from Breitbart News because of his views? On yeah. How, yeah. How do you get fired from that platform? That's exactly right, Laura. He he he's he goes so far that he can't even be you know he can't even keep a job at the places that are like we're into white supremacy. We just right. can't come right out. We just can't come right out and say things like Hitler's good and this. And that. We can't do that. We can't be out. He's that bad. And this is the guy who every time now we're getting a statement from Kanye, it's coming from this dude. Like, that's a congrats, no matter Super. what the situation is. This is the person you decided to... Your spokesperson, but it's 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 fit, it's apropos. It's fitting. If this is the world, if this is the Kanye West you want to be, Kanye, you know what I'm saying. It's fitting. I don't even know. Like, I mean, listen. At a certain point, you get tired of covering the the, the, the level of stupidity. This is who people want to be, man. Like, I don't even know why we are. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like academics sitting down with Donald Trump Jr. Like, this is who people want to be. Yo, I don't understand it, bro. But I, you know what? It's I'm stupid because yes, e- e- bro, hit it, yourself we, with the button. How about that? Hit yourself <laughs> with the button. I played myself. This is what the statement is, right? I mean, we we play ourselves. We make assumptions about people having any sort of backbone or standing for anything or having any morals. No, so they stand for something. Well, uh, sorry, maybe morals is the word I'm looking for. There now. you go. But like, why do we keep assuming that? And no matter how many times they show us over and over and over again, people just keep, we keep going back and believe it may be better. The button just keeps coming. Hit the button again, man. Um, One of my favorite stories from yesterday before we wrap, completely wrap, is the Toronto Raptors own Jonte Porter. Oh, my God. From the NBA for life, Laura Styles. For life, an NBA player was banned for life. What he, what happened? He was gambling on games. No. But but even better than that, there, it's, it's better than that. The congrats is better than that. Thank you, bro. Because at, at this time of day, I never remember the things that I was thinking about the day before. Well, no. Well, the um, the thing well, there's was dro- it millions of dollars? Did exactly. He get of it dollars? wasn't. His profit was twenty one thousand no. dollars. And and Laura, he didn't just but he didn't just bet on games. He reached out to people. And would tell them to bet. For example, yo, my man, make a parlay. Include in the parlay the under on all of my statistics for tonight. Because I'm not feeling good and I'm not going to play much. Yo! Then, hold on. Then he plays That's in the crazy. game. He checks himself out of the game after three minutes. The dude hits. On a, on an eighty thousand dollar bet that would have paid out one point one million dollars, but here's the thing about legal gambling: you're not just betting with your man Vinny and them. The 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 betting companies see what happened and they go, "How did someone know he wasn't going to play?" They never even paid the bet out. Yeah, because they knew it was a sham. For they see it from the inside. How, and how about this? Their story's coming out. Two about John T. Porter, uh, who's banned for life from the Toronto Raptors. Hit the button one more time. How do you? Congratulations, you play. You're 24 yourself. years old, and you just yo, you worked from six years old to 24, and you decide. And then listen, he hadn't had a a great NBA career. He'd only played 37 games over a couple of seasons, Laura. But your man had already earned his career earnings were 2.7 million dollars. This isn't like relative to the real world. You're a failure. You're making money. And by the way. Your brother is Michael Porter Jr. An Balls actual... out for the Denver Nuggets. So maybe but see, that's the part of the problem. That's part of the problem. Is what? 
is that you're in your brother's shadow and you're not performing well, and you're in your feelings, and you're and you're you become a degenerate because you can't. You maybe, but maybe though you could just keep working your ass off, and when your brother's in the right spot with the right team, you know what he could do? Talk to the GM and be like, "Yo, let's bring in my brother." Or because you're already in the NBA, maybe you could pivot and become some other sort of executive where you can get bags. Or you could just like really do this as long as people want you around, and then when you can't, you do what everyone else does, and you go to Europe for five years and make a lot of money and have a lot of fun. It really is pretty cool. And by the way, well, this ha- th- it's with this now. with Jonte Porter, I'm reading an article right now from uh, it's called All Raptors is the site he appears to be a chronic gambler. He's been have this is millions of dollars. They say he's he was in the hole. And been gambling oh. for years. So I figured, I, I figured in all likelihood there was a sickness attached to it. Now, Ebro, one thing I have to say is, mm-hmm. yesterday, I don't lose it very often when I'm on the K show. Like I, I, Don, Don is the guy who rants. I don't like rant. Yo, Ebro, this you would have related to this. Yesterday, I lost it because a guy named Ed called up. I'm sure he's a great guy, but he called up to say you're not thinking about this from John Tay Porter's standpoint. He made a decision, you know, this was the better money now. Was to, And he was, even in retrospect, with it playing out the way it played out, defended the... De- Yo, Ebro, I lost my... I was like, what kind of loser talk is this? You thought this was the move? No, but, it's, but that's, it, it is 20, loser talk. It's just, I was like, you're 24 and you said, nah, I can't do it. But, you know, this is... But, but oh, I, you know, hit yourself with the button... This gambling thing, while we we may not relate to it, it is addict behavior. This is oh, addict oh, oh. behavior. Separate conversation, hundred percent. If the dude's uh, yeah, sick, yeah, yeah. the dude is sick and he needs help. But but the fact that someone no, you're, else would you're, call you're and defend it. Oh yeah, but you're confirmed sick. If you throw your career away for gambling, you're confirmed sick. A ver- Ebro, how about Ipe, the 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 translator? For Shohei Otani, your man had bet, Laura, your man was down $80 million. He had bet in the hundreds of millions. They added up the amount of bets he made over a three-year period. Over a three-year period, I think they said it was 21,000 bets he had made. And here's why that story is so weird, because they're trying to make it quiet and go away. How could this random interpreter, without any of the help of his billionaire ball player well, friend, yeah, 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 but see that—that's a cover up. Yeah, that has that, to I don't be. care what you say. I don't work in sports radio. I don't care what happens with Shohei Otani. I don't give a damn. It has to be a cover up, right? It's a cover up, one thousand percent. There is no way after the contract that Shohei Otani just inked with the Los Angeles Dollars Dodgers and the amount of money they're going to be giving him for the next twenty years. That they're going to allow this thing to go up in flames. There is no way that they're going to let that happen. And there is no way that his interpreter, his best friend, made all of these bets and got that much financially in the hole without Shohei knowing about it. Period. End of discussion. Now, y'all, awesome. pay, I don't give a damn. Paint it how you want. Shout out to Shohei. Shout out to the Dodgers. Hit your home runs. Pitch, pitch, pitch. But stop. And, hit the button, though. But also hit the you button. expect me to believe that? No. Sorry. Right, not doing it. Not today. <laughs> not today and not at any right. point in my life where I thought the interpreter. How did he get the access to the money, too? Yo, um, because according to Laura, according to the story they're telling, it's like Shohei didn't know. Poor Shohei was just blindsided by this. How is this guy your interpreter? How many different people would he have to go through to get access to hundreds of millions of dollars to bet without Shohei being like, yo, here you go, my man? It's impossible, guys. And wow. Hit the button. Anybody that the button. Be- and anybody that believes it, you get this button. What a mess. What no, it's, a the gambling thing is out of control.